what's the crack lads how you doing haven't really been on the internet in the past day since the playstation state of play on tuesday the 24th of september honestly no games really stood out to me and i never played ghost of tsushima so the announcement of a sequel ghost of yote wasn't really a big deal for me until this morning i turned on my tiktok fyp while doing my makeup and getting ready for a stream and i saw this brain dead comment from Asmin on my FYP. Yeah, nothing says realism like a female samurai in the 1500s or 1600s in Japan. Now wait, now wait, hold on Zaki, hold on. Let's step back now for a minute. So then I had to go over and look at Twitter and I wish I never did because the brain rot of some people on that is just absolutely ridiculous. Ghost of Tsushima sequel stars a Japanese woman samurai warrior because of course it does. They can't help themselves until every franchise that was built on masculinity is replaced by women. Ghost of Yote is, hopefully, a smaller spin-off game, but if this is true sequel and this is the new main character over Jin Sakai, so sick of the forced girl boss narrative, man. What? It gets better. It gets better. She's not a samurai. She is a ronin. A female. Pass. You're never going to get close to one in your life anyway, man. Switch it up with a man and I'll play. Female Samurai, miss me with that woke BS. <sighs> I'd like to say that I'm surprised, but I'm really not. So today I'm going to give you a history lesson in the Japanese female Samurai or the Onamusha. I'm finally putting my degree to use, let's go! For those of you who might not know me, I have 18 years studying Japanese and I have a Japanese top honors degree from the University of Limerick in Japanese language and culture. Since I have a Japanese degree, it's only natural that we did a load of courses on Japanese history. And I can't tell you the amount of hours that we clocked in on the samurai centuries of the 12th century until the 18th century. Too many. Way too many. But I digress. People just don't seem to understand that the samurai was literally a social class. It was a class of people who were allowed to train and use weapons and played a major political role until their abolition in the 1870s or the Meiji period. This wasn't just the job title. There were whole families and clans who were samurai. So naturally, as a result, there's going to be female samurai, no matter what the unwashed men of the internet tell you. The Onamusha were an integral part of Japanese history. Ona, meaning woman. Musha, meaning warrior. They weren't ronin, which were Japanese samurai who had no masters and had severed all of their ties to their clan. And if you can understand that women could be ronin, which were samurai that have disconnected their ties to their samurai clan, then you can understand that women can be samurai because you can't be a ronin unless you were a samurai. They were all esteemed members of their families and the ignorance of saying that Japanese onamusha are ronin and claiming there was no female samurai is very disrespectful to Japanese history and culture. One of the first ever samurai, not just onamusha, was Tomoe Gozen. Born in 1157, she is one of the most formidable warriors of her time and is historically renowned for her ferocity, beauty and intelligence. She excelled in archery horsemanship and was a distinguished political leader. Unfortunately, she had the misfortune of being born during a time of great political and social upheaval in Japanese history and was a commander in the Genpai War from 1180 to 1185. She was some woman for one woman, let's. The Genpai War marked the end of the aristocratic Heian period and ushered in the age of the samurai, with Tomoe Gozen being hailed as Japan's first ever general. Eat that! And this was 300 years before the 15th century and the timeline of Ghost of Yote. The timeline for samurai in Japan lasted from around 1185 until 1870, so for like the bones of 700 years. And one of the last samurai to ever exist was known as the Bakumatsu Joan of Arc, Nijima Yae. Yae was particularly praised for her skills as a gunner, which was highly unusual for a woman during the Bakumatsu period. Yae helped defend the Aizu domain during the Boshin War, However, the clan was no match for the Imperial Army's modern weapons and the Aizu clan was defeated. Then a few months later, the Shogunite was defeated and the Japanese Emperor abolished the Samurai class. After the abolishment of the Samurai class, Yae became an instructor during the First Sino-Japanese War and then became a nurse during the Russo-Japanese War. Literally, all this information is readily available online. So before you go taking the word of a man who refuses to wash his ass, just do a little research. Have a nice day! Wash your ass, Asman!